Another example, waves across media. A light wave travels from vacuum into glass. As it does so, well, as it goes from vacuum into glass, we know it's going to have to slow down, so velocity is going to decrease. The frequency of the wave stays the same. That doesn't switch when you switch media. So we're going to have the same frequency. And what else is going to happen? Well, if velocity equals frequency times wavelength, and we said frequency must stay the same, velocity drops, well, that means that wavelength must drop as well. So what's our right answer? It's speed decreases and wavelength decreases. A works. How about B? Speed decreases, that's okay, and its wavelength increases. No. Speed increases, no. Speed increases, we can get all of, rid of all of those speed increases. Speed decreases, and frequency decreases, or increases. No, frequency stays the same. Its wavelength decreases, that's true, and its frequency increases. No, frequency stays the same, and here we have frequency decreases. So out of all those choices, the only correct answer must be A. Its speed decreases and its wavelength decreases. All right, let's check out one last sample problem. A piano plays a middle C, which has a frequency corresponding to pitch of 256 hertz. In air, at standard temperature and pressure. So we know frequency is 256 hertz, and if it's at standard temperature and pressure, air, sound, velocity must be about 343 meters per second. What is the distance between compressions of this sound wave? Oh, tricky. Distance between compressions, remember, well, the distance between compressions, the same point on alternate waves, is going to be the wavelength. So we're looking for lambda. We can use our wave equation. V equals F lambda, therefore wavelength is equal to velocity divided by frequency, or 343 meters per second, divided by 256 hertz, therefore wavelength is going to equal 1.34 meters. Hopefully that gets you a good start on wave characteristics. Thanks so much for your time and attention, and may